Hey everyone, John Cora here, Marketing Director for McClinton Mitsubishi. This is a brand new 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander SEL Premium. It slots above the SEL Touring. So you're probably asking, is this as good as it gets? The answer is yes and no. Oh look, it has a black roof. Let's find out the differences in today's video. All right, so I'm not gonna bury the lead. The biggest difference between this SEL Premium and the SEL Touring is indeed that black roof. You can get the two-tone on three, sorry, four colors total. Obviously the red diamond, which if you ask me is the best because red is an awesome color on the Outlander and that black roof really sets it off. You can also get it on the gray, which Mercury gray is a boring color. I don't know why anyone would buy one of those, except it's what I bought. Uh, then you also have it on the silver and the white. So those four vehicle colors are how you can get the SEL Premium. Now, what else sets it apart besides that black roof is the interior. This specific leather interior is now available only on the SEL Premium. So before this was av available on the Touring, now it's just a Premium. It's that two-tone, the kind of black with the saddle tan leather. It's kind of like a like it or leave it kind of situation. Uh, people either love this color or they're not a fan. On the SEL Touring though, you can get a very similar type of leather with either black, solid black, I mean, or gray. Personally, I like the gray a lot myself. So if I were shopping for an Outlander, that would be a deal breaker for this SEL premium package. So that's one of the biggest things uh, besides you got the, the two-tone paint with the black roof and the specific leather interior. Now you're also gonna get your panoramic moonroof with this vehicle. Uh, you're gonna get your digital display here in front of the steering wheel your digital infotainment screen. You're also getting your heated steering wheel, heated seats, Mitsubishi My Pilot. This one is equipped with super all wheel control. You also get your drive modes there with your electronic parking brake, as well as auto hold, dual zone climate control, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are included. It's actually standard on the Outlander. Uh, it's actually wireless Apple CarPlay, but Android Auto, you do have to use the wire currently. There's a look at your Mitsubishi My Pilot, which is your 360 degree driving assist. I'll put a link in the video for that because that's actually a really cool, unique feature. You do have two memory seats here for the power seats. Here's your controls for your power windows, power door locks. It does have this really cool uh, quilted leather padding on the door and with this one you are getting the Bose or Bose if you're nasty st uh, stereo system Let's take a quick look here at the back seat. I'm sorry the middle seat as you know, this is a three-row Just like in the SEL touring your outboard middle row seats will be heated which is awesome if you have kids or other humans that you'd like to put back there one of my favorite features, which is not exclusive to this trim level, is that window shade that's built in. So if you do have children, just anyone who doesn't want to be blinded by the sun, it's factory. You don't have to get one of those chintzy aftermarket uh, window shades that you see like at Walmart or my preference, Target. The middle seat does split 40, 20, 40. So you can have two passengers and have that middle row, that middle seat down. And as you can tell by looking at this, this does fold like that to get passengers in. Um, but then if you want to actually put the middle seat down, you have to go into the back. I'll show you that here in just a second. But these do recline. It's kind of hard for me to do one-handed, but there you go. So you do have some recline there in that middle row. 
Oh, and we got a sticker here letting you know that this does have a free two year maintenance plan included from the factory. That equals out to three oil changes, three tire rotations, and one cabin air filter, not to mention all the multi point vehicle inspections that we do. And of course, because you're at the tippy top of the trim levels, or are you? More about that later. You also get the little pass key system there. I do want to point out it's only available on the front doors as well as the rear hatch. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the rear hatch. You do get LED brake lights and tail lights. I believe those are incandescent uh, reverse lights though. And we just go up here and voila, there is your power hatch. Now the third row is folded currently. Um, but if you were to un or pull that up, you would have additional space for two more passengers. Also like that down here in this one, this is not necessarily exclusive to this package, but I love that two tone there on the back bumper. Kind of breaks up the monotony. You got black, red, and then silver slash gray, depending upon your perspective. And of course, you are getting the 20 inch rims. Now, I'm gonna be a little critical of Mitsubishi here. I think with this being your almost top package, it should have different rims than the rest because this is an SEL premium. We have SEs over there that have the same wheels. And back in the day, when this first launched, you'd actually get the ES with these 20 inch rims. Great rims, don't get me wrong, but there needs to be a little bit more variety to entice people to spend the extra money for this vehicle. Coming around to the front, you're still getting the 2.5 liter four cylinder. You're also getting those LED headlights. And this one of course has fog lights. In case you don't, don't know, if you get the super all wheel control, you do get a washer there for your front headlights. Uh, oh, and it also has, which I'll, I'm gonna do uh, a shot of this at night. Uh, so you got the dynamic shield here. This is Mitsubishi signature design, which you can see on almost every vehicle they make right now. But this lights up at night. That's, available. That's a feature of this SEL Premium also. There's your Outlander badge too. So overall, it's a very well-equipped vehicle, especially at this price point, which I'll put the price in. And then you have your Ford collision mitigation, all kinds of great safety features. I also want to point out that this vehicle has a five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty from the factory. And then if you buy it from us, you get a 10 year, million mile powertrain warranty, absolutely free. So that's the look at the SEL premium. Some people may be wondering, why this was offered this year. And actually the two-tone roof first started on the rally art, which was available last year. And uh, breaking news, it's gonna be available later this year too. When I say this year, I mean later in 2024. Um, but a lot of people were doing this aftermarket. I even saw some dealerships on YouTube doing this and Mitsubishi just really wanted to control that. And personally, I feel a lot safer having the factory paint the roof as opposed to having some person like a dealership uh, perhaps doing like a wrap on the roof. So a lot more quality when it comes from the factory like that. So that's one of the main reasons why this package is being offered. All right, that's your look at the 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander SEL Premium. Earlier I asked, is this the top of the line? And the answer is no. There's another package coming out soon called the Platinum. It will be very exclusive, very limited, and it'll just be black, but with a silver top. More information about that is coming soon. Hey everyone, it's soon now. I have some updates on the 2024 Outlander Platinum. As you can tell in the picture, it will be black with a silver roof. Personally, I think it looks awesome. I do want to let you know that I just found out it will have a gray interior too. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the two-tone roof and the gray interior. So there's a look. I do want to say it would look even better on the blue paint with the silver roof. That's just my opinion, but let me know what you think. But check out that picture I have in the upper corner. 
and let me know what you think. Do you like the two-tone roof from the factory? Or does that Platinum Edition look good to you? Or does it really not matter? You're just looking for the best bang for your buck. Regardless, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate your constructive feedback. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day.